totally take colors from my surroundings and create them when I work. And I find an enormous pleasure doing that. Yeah. It's like eating good food for me to make colors. Yeah, it's nice. Cooking. I see. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Playing an instrument, you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Same with forms, you know? Like, I, I really think that, that um, form and color somehow is soothing to our souls and to the, to the, the spirit, you know? And uh, if you find the right colors at the moment where you do it or work with the colors, it's like the angels start to sing, you know? It's just perfect. But a piece of work to me has to be uh, great on a close uh, show, you know, when you're very close to it and when you're far and uh, when you look at it for a long time and when you look at it for a second. If it's not like that, to me it's not done. It has to have this energy that's um, monumental, but at the same time totally moving mm. and alive. But the tango dance is, is, is sort of like, I think, a longing to be in that unit, you know? This painting is also called unit, that it is when you, when you dance together um, so beautifully that you follow each, you follow each other. Um, and you melt together like a tree or flowers that are interacted, you know? So that's extremely uh, inspiring to see uh, people move or, or do something you know like like uh, the thing in Berlin was that I was just like and yesterday too I went to this tango thing here in Copenhagen it's just so funny to me the way they move you know I just laugh and I it just touched me straight up and it could be anything but but for some reason I just like I, I sort of take pictures with my mind and, mm. and it sticks out the way they they keep their heads and the heads and the feet and everything just like uh, inspires me like that you know the background or the, the ocean the whatever the, is a, surrounding this event you know? mm. but it, it's um, yeah I'm inspired by life again it's, it's something that that I'm uh, fascinated by or interested in uh, it can be deeply personal and it can be something I experienced or something I identify with, like a samurai. You know, I'm not a samurai, but maybe I have this... I need to express that side of myself that's a warrior. Or um, the girl with the grey eyes that's, that, that's a dreamer, but, but she's, she's caught up in something and she's looking her into the future and she has to make a move in her life. This is like, you know, um, but I see myself in all these characters. That's why I'm, I'm searching for that side, or I need to express that side. I create things that I directly need to sense and feel, understand. I always sort of felt best in powerful, colourful, soft and unpredictable environments where the imagination takes over and you lose ground connection but on the other hand become a part of something bigger, beautiful and sensuous. Painting and drawing is my fundament. Art should be touched, felt and move you, not just in the intellect but in your body as well. I try to create something that's uplifting and therefore a bordering experience. I'm searching for beauty in life itself, else I couldn't be here. Everything is changing everything. Art can give something to this process. We're constantly influencing each other. Forms, colors, concepts have the strength to change us the softness, quality of life.
that's that, it's not a decision it's it's like this connection to a source that that's my inspiration that's like being connected to life and, and taking in life and having this feeling that I want to show the rest of the world basically how I see it or how I, what I'm experiencing I think I always I can see things I've done early on and I can see there's a you know there's a line in what I've been doing but I, I think when I really started to feel okay this is it it's I can never be emptied up it's like it was when I dug into a source that was just purely loose like improvisation and jazz or I, that's where I, I knew okay this is it this is who I am when I felt free when I was working this is where I knew I was doing something that was true because it really came from the subconscious and I was not checking out if it was good or bad like in a superficial way but more it felt right and this is I think the moment I guess in my 20s when I, I started to express um, myself in a way where yeah that was really me and I walk into a room and there's a huge uh, painting of uh, Fernand Lichy and I just like I was so shocked that I just I had to like sit down and this is inspiration but this is shock sometimes when you come into a room and, and you see something that's like wow and at that moment it was so crucial to me because the figures in this painting they were standing on each other's shoulders and it just really touched something in me at that moment because that's how I see life you know we stand on top of each other and um, we're getting closer and closer to, to uh, whatever is higher you know that painting just blew me away it's really like being connected to to something that's um, bigger than I am, I feel. And that's why it's interesting. Because if it wasn't like that, I think I would not be so interested in expressing things. It has to, it has to uh, keep on living in, in other people. It has to have that strength, you know, to stand.